This is Jador. Everyone say hi. Ew. She just got off of the litter box and I kind of touch her butt. I'll be right back. Welcome back to my channel and today I'll be reviewing my cat Jador and cats in general. This is Barbie Jador. Her birthday is December 12, 2022. Let's talk about the experience I have before having cats. I took care of two other cats, one for a month and a half and the other one for two weeks. So before having my own cat, I had a little bit of experience with taking care of cats and i have been having her when she was two months young let me rake her after having her for more than a year so that's appearance 10 out of 10 temper wise she is she has some patience but there definitely needs some more improvement especially because of her breed i understand mm, six out of ten healthiness 10 out of 10. Always strong and always happy. We didn't have any issue taking care of her throughout the past year and since she was a baby. Behavior, she's quite playful. She behaves better when people are around. Mostly a good girl, I would say. The good thing that she doesn't really knock things off on purpose but she's a little bit too playful sometimes. So I'll give her a 7 out of 10. Speed, she's pretty quick and pretty active i'll give her a 9 out of 10. cleverness she learns things i would say pretty quickly as a cat and she learned about our habit very quick as well i'll give her a 9 out of 10. cleanness well she cleans all parts of herself but she doesn't clean it right after using the litter box but she does clean right after eating so there's a delay of cleaning after using the litter box i give her a 7 out of 10 here clinginess she's a little bit clingy but not so much and she likes to see you around her and nearby so when you're away for a long period of time saying just like 10 12 hours which is normal she will eat a little bit less when you're out for that long that long clinginess i'll give her a 8 out of 10. overall as a pet of her herself not cats in general i'll give her jador a 8 out of 10. the rest of the video we'll be talking about the pros and cons and what i didn't know about cats what i didn't know about cats might be the first thing you know about cats so let's keep all the judgment away if i knew what i know today would i still get a cat I'm not sure so proceed with cautious as most of the benefits about cats we already know so i'll just lightly and quickly touch on definitely provide emotional support you feel relaxed when you smell her of course not wrap the, the litter box thing and you feel relief when you are petting her they definitely enrich your life when you come back there's always someone to come home to they're your new family member cats are funny they're hilarious they got so many kinds of poses right now and there's always more to come they're easy to take care generally it's not necessary to walk them like a dog of course you can but if you do remember to dewarm them regularly they can eat and clean themselves. It's not necessary to take them to shower. Some say cats never need a shower. I'm not here to argue which is correct. At the end of the day, you do you. Cats definitely should not get showered very often. In my personal case here, she doesn't need a shower, but sometimes I need her to shower. For now, she had showered twice. What I learned from having a cat is how to just pretend things never happen. Like, she was trying to jump on the bed it's kind of embarrassed that she didn't do it in one go she just fall off and then she walk right out of the room and then walk right back in to start over just as things never happen cats are easily embarrassed but at the same time they have thick skin they have the thick skin of ignoring what just happened we really should learn from that our skin is not thick enough so we really should take notes of how to have a thick skin okay what i didn't know of having a cat before having a cat cats really need wet food 
a lot. I used to think that wet food is more of a treat meal, but actually they need wet food or canned food. Otherwise, their water intake will not be enough, which will lead to health issues in the long run. Cats actually need human a lot. They provide you emotional support and they are actually asking the same from you. They are not as individual as I thought. Even though they're not a touchy cat, they won't sit on your lap, but they really enjoy your company and seeing you nearby and around. After having a pet, you need to think of what would you do? How would you take care of her when you're out traveling? You have to have friends or family member stand by when you're traveling. Going back to touchy cats, it really depends on the breeds, generally speaking. So I have a British short hair and it's not a lab cat. Usually longer fur cats are lab cat or they are more clingy like ragdoll. They don't necessarily like being held in the arm or sit on you all the time, but they definitely enjoy your company and being nearby. Like my cat Jador walk on me when I sleep. I couldn't really sleep with the door open because she not only she walk on me, she lick me really until I wake up. I know it's a good sign that she's checking on me, but I couldn't sleep through the night. Cats are trainable, but you definitely need a lot more time and patience. So Jador really knows a lot of vocabularies like sit, no, stop, come over, how do you pet some random things? For a tree, Jadar. How do you pet? Hmm? How do you pet? Oh, that's how we pet. That's how we pet, right? Okay. And one fun thing is, I thought cats really look the same. Depends on their fur, breed, color. But generally, if it if they're the same breed, they they look the same. After having one, it's completely flipped. You can tell individually they look very different. If I put my cat among other cat with the same breed and fur color, which is blue golden shaded, I can tell right away which one is mine. They're so different. Very subtle. I couldn't pinpoint where how I noticed the difference, but it's just really obvious. You know, when you have an, it's, they are really easily distinguished. I do have some tips for you for having a cat. For their fur problem, yes. For longer hair fur, you have to comb them very often. For shorter hair, you're supposed to comb, comb it as well, but I guess not as often as longer fur, fur because Longer fur, they're tangled all the time. Short hair, they don't have the tangling problem. However, either long or shorter hair, they shred a lot. It's really an all year around thing. And I find myself wearing less black and I do wear a lot of black when I'm out traveling. A good way to minimize their shredding fur is include fish oil in their daily diet. Some cats might not like the strong fishy smell of fish oil, so start including fish oil in their diet when they're very young. And that's the reason my cat Jadora loves fish oil. Coconut oil is very good for fur and digestion. I highly recommend feeding coconut oil. You can almost feed them every day or every other day. That's what I do. And I mean, even dogs can have coconut oil as well. Not only coconut oil is good for their fur and digestion, it's also very good for their teeth. I brush her teeth every other day and after brushing her teeth, I will feed her some coconut oil and it's completely a treat to her. It's very good for some extra cleaning and refreshing. I brush her teeth every other day. If you can do it every day, that's fantastic. I highly suggest including this activity when they're really young. I trim her nails around every 10 to 14 days. I don't necessarily trim every single one. It's just whatever one is longer or needs a trim, but she's very used to me trimming her nail every now and then. And of course, after nail trimming, she will get a treat. Even at the younger age, there's nothing to trim. You still want to push the finger, push the nail out and pretend 
trimming that they are used to the paw touching, pushing, and trimming. So in general, any good habits you want them to include, highly recommend you to start in an early age. It's much easier to start with when they're very young, like a few months old. That is really all I have about cats today. Having the experience of three cats total, I would rate the pet experience in general 8 out of 10. There will be some ups and downs after all, but I think I would still recommend getting a cat if you have been thinking about it. Don't worry about I've never had a pet before. You know what? This is my first time having a pet as well. We are all once a first time pet owner. So if you are thinking about it, don't overthink of it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.